Oh my god, awesome! Hi, I'm Robot Lexion. Today I'm going to show you how I build a perfectly balanced hover bike with ease. Now, building a hover bike isn't hard at all. All you need is two fans and a single control stick. Once you have your devices out, it's as easy as gluing them together with Ultra Hand in the right configuration. For the best performance, we're going to want to have the fans attached in the front and the back at a 45 degree angle to the control stick. There we go, easy as that. Now we've got a perfectly workable hover bike. So let's test it out and see how it flies. Hey, that's not too bad actually, but it does seem to have a bit of a leftward drift and we can do better than that, right? Let's go ahead and land quickly and I'll show you the hover bike I have saved as an auto build. Now that's more like it. This one flies perfectly straight with no drift in either direction when I have my hands off the controls entirely. So how do we build it nice and balanced like this? Well, the first thing we're going to do is find a place to build that's perfectly flat. Fields and such that have hills and changes in elevation make it much more difficult to line everything up properly. I'm sure Pura won't mind if we use her balcony for our engineering endeavors. So let's try building it right here. Now we're going to use one more device to help us out. A stake. You don't need to use a stake, especially if you're earlier game and don't have any yet. But it certainly does help with keeping things straight and level. Once you have your stake out, rotate it to make sure one of the flat faces at the top are facing you. Then go ahead and stick it into the ground like this. Now we're going to put the control stick on top. It doesn't have to be perfectly centered, but make sure it's oriented in the same direction as the flat face to help line up the fans next. Looks good to me. Now we're going to start with the rear fan. Once you pick it up, line yourself up behind the stick facing it head on. Now, I see a lot of people suggest turning off motion controls, but personally, I like to leave them on to fine tune the position. Once you rotate your fan to the 45 degree angle we need, you can hold R1 and use the rotation lines as a guide to help line everything up. Using both the little orange dots of the glue points and the rotation lines, very carefully glue your fan on lined up with the stick. Hmm, looks pretty good to me. Now we're going to break off the stake. This is because if we leave it attached when we add the front fan, it'll also show up in our auto build blueprint and cost three extra zonate we don't need to pay. But don't get rid of it. We're still going to use it to help us. Rest the fan flat on the ground against the stake like this, but don't glue them together. Now for the front fan, once again, pick it up and line yourself up head on using the control stick as a guide. Using both the orange dots and the rotation lines from R1 again, very carefully line it up and glue it on as straight as you can get it. There we go. Now let's see if we made it balanced or if we have to fine tune it at all. Well, that's definitely not flying straight. It has an even worse drift left than our first one. No problem though. We just have to fine tune the fans a little. So let's head back and try again. Oops, sorry ladies. I think my Hylian pilot license may be a little out of date. Hmm, let's see. To me it looks like the front fan is ever so slightly off center, but even that tiny bit is more than enough to make our hover bike drift off to the side. So let's break it off and try to line it up again. We're just going to do the same thing we did last time, but hopefully we'll be a little more precise with our placement this time and get it nice and straight. There we go. That looks much better to me already. So let's take it out for another test flight and see how it handles. Oh. 
Oh, heck. Nope's still drifting left, but not nearly as much this time. I'm pretty sure we've got the front fan nice and straight now, though. So let's head back and try to realign the rear fan this time. Now remember, while the stake is helpful, we don't want to keep it attached, so let's break that off quickly. And then we can try to realign the rear fan and see if we can get it a little more straight this time. Since we're trying to fix the rear fan instead of the front one this time, let's lift the stake a little higher than before so the control stick can rest flat on it while we go about lining up the fan. There we go, that should work. Now once again, we're going to use both the orange ultra hand dots and the R1 rotation lines and carefully try to line it up as straight as we can get it. I think that's done it. So let's take it out for another flight and see if it's any better this time. Oh, still not quite perfect. Now we're drifting just a little to the right. I'm pretty sure it's the front fan again since we realigned that one already, while the rear fan wasn't quite balanced yet. Let's go back and readjust the front fan one more time. I'm pretty certain once we do, it'll be good to go. It's definitely the front fan for sure. I can see it's slightly off center just by looking at it. So let's go ahead and break it off and rest the rear fan flat on the ground, leaning against the stake and try this one more time. Remember, use both the orange dots and the rotation lines to help guide you. Hmm, I think I'm gonna do the rear fan one last time. It looks ever so slightly off center, but once again, that's more than enough to throw us off balance. We just have to relift the stake a little and make sure you remember to angle the fan at 45 degrees in the right direction. Nice! This time it's perfect for sure. Let's do another test flight to check it out. I bet we've got it perfectly balanced this time. Yeah, yeah, calm down, ladies. I'll be out of your hair in just a moment. Oh, heck yeah. Check that out. Perfectly straight and balanced without any hand on the controls. Right on. It flies just as well as the one I already have saved. See, it takes a little bit of work and effort. But if you use those tricks with the stake and the rotation lines, it shouldn't take you long at all to balance yours either. All that's left to do is go into auto build and save it as a favorite. Now you can build your perfectly balanced hover bike anytime, anywhere you want. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and monster killing madness.